Greetings everyone, my name is LG and this is Tales of Exilia for the Sony PlayStation 3. Let's continue our story here in Olympia. Yep, actually, and the last part we fought with Maxwell, the real Maxwell of course, not with Mila. Because it seems Mila is not really, really Maxwell, she is only the creation of uh, the real Maxwell. And we are here, as I said before, in Olympias. And this guy is a Balan, or something like that. And he is the brother of Elvin. Okay, let's talk to him. Please, make yourselves right at home. Alfred's friends are friends of mine, after all. Meh, I'm reading really, really uh, bad. Okay, let's check the Mila's return. Oh, it is you! I'd never forget what these feel like! Stop it, Tipo. Let go. No, it's what you get for making us worry! That's right. I want a hug, too! Leave some room for me! Even you, Leia? <laughs> no point trying to fight it. Fine. I surrender. I'm sorry for what I put you all through. That includes you, Alvin. Uh, I... that's really not necessary. No need to be coy, or Mila won't let you into the group hug. What, you plan on joining in too? I don't mind. Very well then. And... I'm out. Hmm. <laughs> Reunited. Is it really you? Do I look like someone else? No, you're Mila, all right. And yourself? You seem different from last I saw you. Really? A little bit. Looks like you grew up without me. Could be. It doesn't change who I am, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you again. Same to you. Mm. Yeah, we saw Mila in a long time ago. Because uh, we thought that uh, she is dead after after the fight at the Sinatra. And she tried uh, to destroy uh, the, I don't know what, well, Fists of Jude. What is this? When did my hands get so covered with blisters and scars? Ah, that's quite a layer of calluses forming around your knuckles. Yeah, probably from all the people I've hit. Didn't you want to be a doctor? That's kind of ironic. Do you regret this? <sighs> no. These calluses are proof that I'm striving to do the things I need to do. That's the spirit! They prove you're no quitter! A man's hands always reflect the path he's walked in life. You have the hands of a true man. Your calluses are the coolest! I'm going to keep fighting until I have calluses too! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You guys are the best. Okay, let's go and check this place. Actually, this is a uh, another world, a completely different world uh, from where we were before. If I could just get my hands on one of those, my world-changing invention would be complete. You there? If you can track something down for me, I will pay you very well for your efforts. How about it? Of course, let's do it. The thing I'm looking for is a navy metal. With it, I'll be able to complete the greatest invention the world has ever seen. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you what it is. I can't risk tripping my hand to my competitors. Tipping. Well, okay. Um, yeah, we will search for some some materials. That's that's cool. Eh, where to go? Let's go to the top floor. Maybe maybe I can have a look around at this place, this Olympias uh, Rodo's apartment. Mm. Hello. There's some oh hi there who might you be is there something I can help with you oh 
Mm, no, I'm out of here. Thank you. Thank you, lady. What's here? Oh, hi. I will never give up. The other world reactor plan is absolutely essential for Olympias. Mm. Yeah, by the way, we were sent here by by Maxwell. If uh, if I got it well, got it right, Gaius wanted to send us back, I think, to uh, reason Maxia. Or to kill us? I don't know. Mm. What do you guys think? Mr. Ballon is a really nice man. When one of my fire rigs broke, he fixed it right up. But he told it to himself constantly as he did it. It's kind of weird like that. Mm. Yeah, we will know much more about Alwyn's world and... Uh, Oh, what is this? Room 102. Hey, you're using a Spyrix too. You mean this? Me and my grandma use them too. Really? My granddaughter and I both have a cardiovascular disease, and we've had medical Spyrixes implanted to help with them. I bet it hurt really bad when you put it on, huh? Yes, it did. But you just have to bear the pain. Because without Spyrix, we wouldn't be able to live normal lives. I see. You're so brave for being so young. Yeah, totally. My grandma always says that. Thanks to the advance in medical Spyrix technology, we've been able to overcome our illnesses. We'll never forget what Dr. Mathis did for us. May his soul rest in peace. Mathis? That's the same as your last name, Jude. Dr. Mathis is the one who created my Spyrex, but he died in a boat accident a long time ago. Uh, this whole time, I only saw Spyrex as harmful. I never considered it could actually help people. Hmm, this is really strange. Dr. Mathis? Jude's father? Maybe, maybe he is the one who they were talking about. That would uh, explain some things, mainly, mainly how he uh, knows about this. Uh, uh, what was that? Uh, this this Spyrex, uh, medical Spyrex thing. Well, anyways, let's talk uh, with them. I want to grow up to be a Spyrex scientist. Then I could invent a Spyrex that lets Grandma live forever. It's all thanks to Spyrix and Dr. Mathis that I'm able to spend this wonderful time with my grandchild. Mm. There will be another twist here. I'm, I'm really sure that, that there will be something. Ooh, what is this? Check. Mysterious jewel. Um, okay. That's cool. I cannot enter other rooms. And I came from this this place, so let's talk with this guy. An official at the Department of Other World Affairs lives here. So we often go uh, so we often get people coming here to protest against the Other World Reactor plan. They are always making a big deal about uh, protecting human rights, but what about the human rights of the people who live here and can't stand all the noise protesters make? Yeah, we will talk about that and uh, uh, well, a lot. And I'm really sure that uh, the story will talk about that a lot too. The other world protector or reactor. Did you hear they're planning to raise the Spyrex tax again? It's all because of that other world reactor plan thing, right? Honestly, what is the government doing? I'm sure everything will turn out fine on Reze, whatever, without our help. So you think we should just leave them be? Hey, nobody said that. We should pay their people fair compensation and promise to help them with their development. Pay them with what, though? Our tax money? 
It's not like we're any better off. Well, you'd hope the government thinks of something instead of digging into our pockets. Either way, someone's got to figure out this energy crisis or we'll all be gone in a few years. Oh, I can't even worry that far ahead. I've got my hands full just worrying about today. I guess you can't make everyone happy. Must be nice to be so self-absorbed. That's just how people are. I'd be much more scared of a society where people were afraid to speak their minds. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Well, yeah, that's what uh, the Olympian people think about Rizemaxian people. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's uh, almost the same. What uh, I don't even know who was talking about that, but. Someone was uh, talking this about that. This city is made of stone and metal. This is the Olympian city of Triglyph. Welcome, visitors from Riza Mexia. Hmm. This seems. This lamp is casting light without channeling spirits. Hmm. Perhaps that cable is somehow conveying luminescent energy to that lamp. How could they have possibly built a city this size without using spirit arts? It's almost frightening. Everyone here seems to be just like us. Except for the part where none of them can channel spirits. It's a whole different world, but the people are just like us. It looks to be that way. Hmm. Yeah, this is... Uh, wow, this is a nice city. It looks so different uh, than what we saw before. Uh, let's hear Cousin Bala. I can't stand to hear Balin prattle on like that. Really? I find him quite interesting. He's been that way since he was a kid. That's how I knew it was him right away. He's strange, but he's really nice. I know. Unlike me. Nobody's saying that. But watch yourself around him. He has quite a mean streak. Do something embarrassing and he won't ever forget it. He'll torment you with it till your dying day. Like what? If he told you half the dirt he had on me, I'd never be able to show my face around you again. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes my skin crawl. <laughs> you guys seem really close. Well, I guess we were friends before he got all cynical. Oh. What's that? You jealous? Absolutely not. You don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's check this beetle leg. Ah, what a fine place to find a beetle leg. Hello. After working as a chef for over 60 years, I fi finally retired and left my restaurant to my son. But it's been a month now and I still find myself thinking about food all the time. Lately I've been hearing exciting rumors about a new dish called a croquette parfait. I would like to try it, but I cannot find one anywhere. Could you look one for me? Of course. Thank you for granting an old man's his silly wish. Now that I'm retired, the one thing I have lots of is time. I'll be waiting right here for you ready. Wow. Do I have one? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. I really want to talk with uh, this place's people. And hear their thoughts. When I grew up, I want to join the army. Soldiers get to use Spyrex weapons. They are so cool. Mm -hmm. I never wanted to join the army. Nowadays, grains and vegetables are produced in Spyrex powered factories. If you try to plant fields of seeds the way people used to, you can no longer can get enough yield to make it worth the trouble. Why is that? What happened? And why not? Meh. I wonder what sort of shape Olympias will be in when these young children grow up to become adults. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get a new Spyrix for my next birthday. Oh really? And what are you doing with that Spyrix? 
You you don't need any any medical things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, slings! I want to use it. Ooh, and this too. Ah, oh, it would be uh, really fun if uh, actually they would allow us to do stuff here. Apparently, giant monsters have started appearing in the Rusley and Thornbala High Roads. Oh, great! The newspaper says they are mutation caused by humanity destroying their natural environment. Do you think that's really true? Hmm. It could be true. It could be true. Wait a minute. Oh, that's a safe point. That's a. That's a. I don't know what. That was the lag. And who are you? We have had reports of a large scale geogra geological upheaval on the. Ah, uh, so there. On one of my. One of my colleagues went to investigate, but he hasn't come back yet. Maybe the investigation is taking longer than he anticipated. Hmm. There will be some trouble around uh, this place. Maybe we'll go and and help them. Okay. City sure is strange. Yeah, I feel like there's something missing. There's no nature. Indeed, I haven't spied a single blade of grass, let alone a tree. Is it because they're using Spyrix? More likely because there aren't any spirits. Exactly. As the spirits became scarce, all signs of nature withered with them. Olympias is in its death throes. So this world needs spirits. What was that? Alvin, what does that poster say? Support the Otherworld Reactor Plan. They were probably put out by a union of Spyrex using merchants. It sounds like they're really dependent on Spyrex. You look like a deep pocketed lot. Help us pull the plug on the reactor plan. Tell me, old-timer, why do you need donations to stop the plan? Filing official protests with the government isn't free, you know. Phew! Did you take a bath in booze today? What's the deal with this doll? Count me in. I want to stop the other world's reactor plan. Jude, wait. <laughs> Thank you, lad. Thank you. I wonder how Gaius intends to stop the plan. With Muse's power at his disposal, they could show up on this side at any moment. That's true. No point moping around on an empty stomach. Balin should have that food ready by now. Ooh, ooh, Albin's homecoming. From the nature to the culture, everything on Olympia seems so different. This is your homeland, right, Alvin? Yep. The source of the Spyrex you hate so much. You don't sound too happy about it. Didn't you want to return here more than anything? Well, I thought I did. I wonder why I wanted to return to this doomed world. It is true that its spirits have withered and its plants and animals are disappearing. But Olympias isn't over yet. The people here brought this upon themselves by using Spyrex. You aren't even the real Maxwell. Do you really intend to save humans like that? Yes, this is a human problem. And as you know, I'm quite fond of humans. Whether I'm Maxwell or not is beside the point. <laughs> I see. Glad to hear it. Hmm. Okay, so we have to go back to Balen, Balen's, but before that, it would be really great to explore this place. Scientists say that the spread of Spyrex is linked to the growing deterior deter deterioration of Olympias' natural areas. 
If you leave the city, you'll understand what I mean. Hmm. Yeah, this is really strange. By the way, it was uh, kind of funny. They were talking about uh, there is no nature here, and in the background uh, there was a uh, uh, some kind of plant. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there is a plant. Mm, well, yeah, that's true. Not so many of them are here. That's enough selfishness from you, long young lady. We can barely even afford food and rent the way prices and taxes are rising these days. Yeah, and... Whoa! Hey, I wanna talk to you. No, 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 no! I want to buy new accessories! Really? What kind of accessories you want to buy? I don't wanna buy these. Yeah, I, 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 I don't. I really don't. Hmm. Hello. The new Spyrex designs are really cool. I wish I hadn't bought a Spyrex just a few months ago. Is there any way I could justify buying a new one? So you only can have one Spyrex? And what do you use it for? Okay, I understand that you can use for medical things. If the other world reactor plan succeeds, then all of our energy problems will be solved, right? The politicians and the army really need to step up to make it reality. Mm. Yeah, different people have different opinions about this. It may be an undeveloped land, but the other world still has people living in it. I don't see how we could possibly justify sacrificing their lives for our benefit. Eh. A noble argument, but it would be more convincing if it weren't from someone who cannot survive without her Spyrex air conditioner on all the time. Mm. So the Spyrex the and the... in the Olympian alphabet seem quite similar to the ones we use in Riza Maxia. They're fundamentally the same. Get used to the cosmetic differences and you'll be reading fluent Olympian. Hmm. So actually... Uh, let me buy, buy some stuff. Yeah, I used a lot of stuff. Uh, when, when I was fighting with Maxwell and... Uh, and the others. Okay, ooh, that costs a lot! Really a lot. Okay, I don't want to buy anything else. So, this uh, Spyrex thing is kind of kind of similar to, to our electricity. And to be honest, the... Mm, the metal lobe and the art uh, art system is uh, kind of reminding for for me for that too. You can get to um, fortress via the Torbalan high road, but I would tread carefully. The area outside the city isn't as safe as it is. It used to be. Okay, can I get out from this place or I have to go back to ba ba Balin? Yeah, I should go back to Balin's place. Well, anyways, uh, what are you? Weapon shop. Mm. Let me. Ooh, let me expand the weapon shop. Uh, what? What do you need? This. Meh. It's not too much. Did I use all my stuff? Uh, it seems so. Okie dokie. So I cannot really expand any of the weapon or armor shops. It would be cool to have some new weapons and armor. 
yeah. What is this? Ooh, this really looks like uh, the sea havens in Rizu Max here. Oh, and maybe it is. It is just like that. Oh, kitties! Loads of kitties. Hmm. Let me talk to you. What do you want? With all the talk about military action and energy crisis flying around lately, society has been falling apart. Around here, normal people who don't care as Pyrex weapons are known as shadows. Now, there is a group of hooligans calling themselves Shadow Stalkers who stalk and rob them. Response, I've decided to form a self-defense force and stalk the stalkers. Will you help us? Of course, of course. I track the Shadow Stalkers back to their hideout. It's on the Torbalan High Road near Triglap. It's up to us to protect ourselves now. Let's go get them! Okay, this is a new event. Uh, Alright guys, I think time our time is uh, over. So I will continue from this point and will continue to speak with uh, the guys around and go back to Balen. So anyways, next part will come really soon, don't forget to leave your comments down below and please push thumbs up if you like this episode, it really helps out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you did not till now. Thanks for watching, next part of Tales of Exilia will come really soon, goodbye. So, what's everyone's plans from here on out? If we head to that spot Balin mentioned, we might be able to get back to Reza Maxia. Oh, I see. That's why you asked. What Although, a strange place.